Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm here at PA HorrorCon with Lachlan Monroe. Awesome actor, you might know him from Riverdale, from Scary Movie, White Chicks, Freddy vs. J. The list goes on and on. You have quite a career, my friend. Well, I started when I was a fetus, so, yeah. Seriously? No, no, no. <laughs> I mean, some did. Well, you know what? When uh, Basically, I'm really good at hitting a mark, so that's been my career. That's my career breaker. You know, people hire me for that only. Well. I, I know how to find my light. Well, that, that's a good skill to have. Yeah, I think so. Especially, um, you, you're definitely getting the good books of DPs, right? So. So, I have to ask you about Riverdale, super popular show. What was... First of all, what was your thought process when they came to you and said, we want you on Riverdale? Were you familiar with the Archie comics that they're loosely based on? Oh, yeah, of course. I grew up on, uh, I grew up on the Archie comics, of course. Um, I thought it was a great take on the comic book uh, by amalgamating that world uh, along with sort of a, you know, a little bit of a, an edge to it, sort of a Twin Peaks edge to it, and... Um, I love the cast that they put together, and I, I really, I, I can't say I enjoyed my time because I'm still enjoying my time on it because I do flashback episodes. And to tell you the truth, they haven't ever really told me that I'm dead. Well, you were shot in the head, but, you know, that you, that's not a deal breaker. Well, <laughs> you heard the gunshot. You just didn't see the gunshot. That's true. So, you know. Yeah. And even if you are shot in the head, you could survive that. You know what? From what I've been seeing, Cheryl has superpowers. She could bring me back now. Jughead has superpowers. What the heck? I'm coming back. Let's do that. And they could always bring over Sabrina for, you know. Exactly. Sabrina could come over. That's right. <laughs> so you've also worked in some differently toned movies. What, what was your experience like on, like, Scary Movie? Um, well, that was my first movie with the Wayans family. And, um, I mean, those guys are so great. They're very comedic they're uh they're all about playing they're all about bringing out the best in everyone as as far as making you feel safe to take chances and take risks uh with your comedy and so i've been fortunate to do five movies with them and and i i love every one of uh I, every time i'm on with set with those guys it's um I learn a lot from them, and, and I have a blast. Well, that's great, and I have to say that the movie, those movies are funny as hell. So, <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, that's the thing about the Wayans family, too, is that they don't try to... I mean, really, they're, they're doing movies, and they're writing humor that they like, and they hope that people like. And if, the, if you don't, then that's fine, too. But, um, you know, I... I find I find them funny. I, I find the scripts funny, and the fact that they take risks like doing white chicks and and doing little man and things like that, I think are really interesting. And uh, and they're just a great family, great family. Well, that's great to hear. I, I do have to. Ask, you've had a very long career. Is there someone that was a mentor? Was a uh, who? said something that kind of made everything click into place for you or was there a moment that you realized you know this is who I want to be I you know I don't I I think I just I mean I love to create characters and I love to perform and um uh, it, I just I I started out on the TV show 21 Jump Street was my first show and it just progressed from there and just just building a resume and building a, a career and, you know, meeting really, really interesting people along the way. I mean, I, I, there's been influences all the way through my career just from when I work with people. An example, I was very lucky to be in the movie Unforgiven when I was young and working with Eastwood and Hackman and Freeman and Richard Harris. And I mean, I just sat back and watched every day. I went to set every day whether I was needed or not. Just that was my acting class. It, so I've had a lot of those type of experiences throughout my career, and uh, and I feel like really that I'm kind of ready to uh, I'm ready to sort of break out now. I feel like I'm ready to go to another level with my work, just because I just I feel like I'm fi I finally know what I'm doing. So that's after 34 years. Well, you know, people learn at different rates. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So with all the different types of characters that you've played, has there been one in particular that was difficult to get into the head of or, you know? 
You know, I don't think so. I mean, you always think about what you want to do with the character before before you go to camera, and then things happen organically on screen, and as you're the progress of shooting the script. Um, you know, I've just been very lucky. I've been very lucky to play very uh, high-strung comedic characters. I've been able to play very dark characters in my career, and and fathers and doctors and cops and lawyers and so I don't know I, I just I you know I look at the story I try to develop dimension in the character and then let it go yeah. I think that's the way the way to do it I, yeah I don't I mean I don't, I don't I don't let it really get into my head too much I just try to create and be believable so okay so quick speed round what's your favorite color blue Good choice. What's your favorite cartoon from a kid? Uh, Yosemite Sam. Another good choice. <laughs> What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate chip mint. Okay. I can go with that. <laughs> favorite book? Oh, Silence of the Lambs. A good book. Did you enjoy the movie? Yes, very much. And favorite Avenger? Uh, Avenger just... Uh, superhero. How about superhero? Okay, Spider-Man. Well, he's also an Avenger. Oh, good. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. I'm, I apologize. No problem. So, is there anything coming out that you can discuss, that you can share with us? You know, I did a movie with Kiernan Shipka called Totally Killer for Blumhouse. It comes out, uh, I think, around Halloween. Uh, Julie Bowen is in it. She plays my wife. And I just finished uh, the sequel to Buddy Games with, uh, with Josh Demel and uh, Nick Swartzen and all those guys. That's called Buddy Games 2. That comes out probably in spring. And uh, yeah, j just stuff that I forget that I do comes out. And then someone in my family tells me that they saw it. So, you know, oh, yeah, I did that. That's kind of how it works for me. Yeah. Yeah. And anything you'd like to say to your fans before we wrap up? Uh, well, just thanks for all the support, you guys. I hope uh, you like uh, the work that I've been doing and the future work I have coming up. And I really appreciate all your, uh, all you guys watching and uh, and um, just uh, helping me put my kids through school. So thank you. That's awesome, and we hope to see you on Riverdale again soon. Okay, yeah, thank you. I hope so. <laughs> and uh, so thanks so much for all your right. time, Lachlan. And everyone out there, thanks for watching, and as always, have fun, and follow your fandom. This is Ray Santiago, and you're watching Fandom Spotlight. Please watch, like, and subscribe, or else we'll find you and you'll die.